Okay, today I thought we'd take a look at these two robot Charlies. And uh, as far as I know, these were made in Italy. And let's see. The more complicated of the two, I don't know if it was a kit or what, but this one, this, this chrome looking one, and this box here. Yeah, let's take a closer look at the box. They both say Radio, well, this one says Radio Commandy, Real 45, and this is Radio Computer. You can see there's some images here. So it looks like sight and sound, but there's a picture of two circuit boards. The only reason you would normally show circuit boards is if it was some sort of an assembly kit of some sort. Um, anything else? Well, yeah, here's some... Uh, here it says, made in Italy. So with this one... I don't have the transmitter, so there's really no point trying to get it to operate. It's, this one's quite heavy, um, has some writing here as well, that helps anyone. A very colorful back. You've got a switch over here, it's got one, two, three, four positions, and a switch over here that has two positions. And the uh, batteries go in back here, and look at that battery box. It takes one, two, three, four, five C cells, and two of them are in very odd uh, battery box configurations, plus a nine volt battery, which would sit up here. And you know, peek into the darkener, which I know the camera can't see. I can see those circuit boards and stuff in there. On the bottom, it has this motor-driven wheel sitting at an angle, and it's engaged. I can't tell if... It doesn't look like the wheel rotates, but it might. I don't know. Uh, is there some writing there? No, there isn't. Just two idler wheels in the back. Obviously, room for a speaker inside, so it uh, either talks or plays music. You can see there are some LEDs here, and LEDs here, and an LED here, and here. And on where the antenna come out, that's what it says there. So, I can't tell you a whole lot about that. It's just that if we look at the, uh, the pictures again, we can see that it, it shows that it must be able to turn. Definitely shows the lights working that I just pointed at. And here it's got musical notes, so that speaker in the back must play uh, some music when it's uh, controlled by the two boards that they're showing you. I guess this would show directions, forward, backward, left and right, as far as movements go. So, a very interesting uh, robot. I wanted an example of in my collection, even though I didn't have the uh, transmitter to control it. Now this particular robot Charlie is different. I do have the remote for it. As you can see, it's kind of a, a basic 1970s, 1980s type remote, like a lot of things from Radio Shack and stuff would have had. And here's some text down there. And text up here, if that helps any of you that can read it. Here's the uh, top of the box. doesn't seem to have anything different anywhere else. The bottom says the same, made in Italy. This one does function. Um, it doesn't weigh quite as much. And on the back, you can see they use the same plastic. There's no switch there in that hole. There's no speaker. This is just an on-off switch. And this one only takes the four C cells, no nine volt and no battery here. In fact, this little piece of paper right there says, basically, do not put a battery here. So this is their stripped down model. 
Uh, the bottom drive is different on this one. This is more more like a bump and go drive except it has a lock position where it can't go further that way and it can't go further that way. So I think it's probably the turn and reverse type thing. Now these wheels are a hard plastic so they're not going to drive well on almost any surface unless you had like a smooth rubber surface or something. They're not going to drive well on glass and glass is what I've got up here for us to uh, play around with. We'll move some of this stuff out of the way. And I guess Robot Charlie's in view. So when you turn it on, the wheels are running on the bottom. You can see the eyes are lit. And then the time you push the remote, it makes a different sound. And the wheels, I believe, on the bottom change. tries to go on the glass, but you get the idea. It looks like it would be driving forward and turning in reverse. Um, back on this one, I've got in the box that came with it, there was uh, more information. There's a large, a lot of type there. And again, more information there, which means nothing to me. And uh, Robot Charlie there, and it shows the uh, where to put the batteries. It talks about the transmitter. It again, shows the picture of the circuit boards. I guess they're really proud of their circuit boards for some reason. Here's some, some sort of information box there. More information on the uh, transmitter and control. Doesn't really look like build instructions. So maybe it uh, came fully assembled. Oh, they're showing a product lineup of a bunch of different toys in might, including the, uh, the white version of the robot Charlie that we already have. And all of that. So, an interesting little booklet, which doesn't mean a whole lot to me, unfortunately. I guess they were just really proud of their circuit boards. I don't think it was really a kit, although it does kind of look that way. But there you have it. We have our two robot Charlies, for what that's worth. Free to enjoy today.